Now the next thing is this is the form you will use to write whether you believe you think your your candidate is competent or not. This is what you will use now to write the review. So what you can do is when you start, what you can start by writing your review here, which is a quick review about three lines. I have looked at my candidate's work. It covers these units. I believe it's good and I'm going to be cross-referencing it to make sure that my candidate is uh, competent. Now the next thing you will do is you have uh, below here so you will, after writing your review, the next thing you will do is you will write your feedback. And your feedback will be what I've mentioned during the lesson. So you will quickly write your feedback here to say that, so you're talking to your candidate. Whatever you're saying to them is what you will write here. I believe you've done a very good job. This is what you need to improve on. And overall, it's good. So make sure you give them sandwich feedback, like I've said. An assessment decision is made at a later stage, which is towards the end when candidates are completing. And that's when you will tick at the top there whether the candidate is competent or further evidence required. And then here you can write, if you want, if it's at a later stage, you can write here, candidate is competent, this unit has been